The time now, let's see. 12 noon on this Friday afternoon, February 7th, 2014, on a Friday. Time now for the Weatherman Joshua PJ Wiggins, the noon time report. Friday, February 7th, 2014. Good afternoon, everybody. Our congratulations at 12 noon in Norton, Massachusetts, which got a temperature of 30 degrees, wind first skies with humidity of 41%, wind speed west about 9 miles per hour, barometer 30.21 inches, dew point about 9 degrees, visibly 10 miles, and a wind chill of 22 degrees. Alright, let us take a look at our radar scope around the nation and shows a couple of blobs of snow showers off the scent. Through mid coast of Maine here. A couple little bits of snow showers in east central portions of Maine, down for western portions of New Brunswick here. Line of snow showers in central and eastern portions of Nova Scotia here. Line of snow showers in western and eastern portions of Prince Edward Island here. Batches of snow showers in western and eastern portions of Quebec and several portions of Quebec. Snow showers in north western portions of Vermont, down up in upstate New York. Snow showers in central portions of New York State. Snow showers in west central portions. In New York. A Line of snow showers in south eastern New York, down through north east of Pennsylvania, blobs of snow showers in west central Pennsylvania and West Virginia and down in eastern Kentucky. And also blobs of snow showers in western portions of Michigan and northern portions of Michigan. Snow showers in southern portions of Ontario, eastern portions of Ontario, southern portions of Ontario. And a couple of line of rain showers there. Up the Carolina coastline here. Rain showers in central Florida coastline from Tampa down to Daytona Beach. Snow sh rain showers down to southeast of Texas around Houston. Snow and sleet showers in east central Texas. Line of snow showers from western Texas. Texas, down to Northern Texas, down to Southeast Oklahoma, Oklahoma, down to Western portions of America, Arizona. Snow showers in Northeastern portions of Kansas, and snow showers in East Central Missouri, west of St. Louis. There. There's nothing, absolutely nothing you can say about it. And a lot of snow showers in Mexico, down to Colorado, down to Northern Wyoming, Northern Utah, Northern Nevada, down to Southern. Idaho down for western and central portions of Montana, stretching up in the southern and central portions of Alberta, and down to eastern Saskatchewan, down to eastern portions of British Columbia. And a line of rain showers in central and stretching up in the northern portion of California from San Francisco, stretching it up in the Eureka, and stretching in east of Sacramento, and sleet and snow showers in the Sierra Mountains of California. Snow and sleet showers around. Not in portions of the gallery and then stretching all the way up into Oregon in the southern and western portions of Oregon here. Snow showers in north central portions of Oregon and for stuff. Central portion of Washington State. You send your kids to school and Bachelor of Snow Shots in southwestern portions of British Columbia here and snow shots off the western Washington coastline. Fires Colorado, good afternoon everybody. Twelve degrees with air clouds there. Satellite low pitch shows. Police detectives are investigating. Live in Gardner, Antoinette Antonio. A batch of the clouds covering the western coast of the United States and stretching it down to the summer. Rockies and up in the northern Rockies there. Never back to the clouds from the central plains down to the seven plains down to Louisiana, stretching down to the northern Florida down to the Atlantic coastline and the clouds stretching from northern Mississippi down to Alabama, stretching down to Tennessee down to Kentucky up in the West Virginia down to southern Pennsylvania. And then a batch of clouds from northern Ontario down to Michigan, stretching down to Quebec and up in the northern New England and down to Quebec and down to the Atlantic coastline. And a batch of clouds from eastern British coming down to Alberta down to the Saskatchewan down to Manitoba down to Ontario. Up in the Quebec, yeah. But they are now in custody. Police say this was all part of an ongoing. Okay, let's take a look at our map situation here. High pressure center in western portions of Kentucky, eastern portions of Virginia, and low pressure center in eastern Washington, western Oregon coastline, and northern Nevada here. And stationary front, cold front from Saskatchewan, cold front from Saskatchewan, Saskatchewan, and Manitoba, and Northern Ontario. Stationary front from Oregon, down to Northern Nevada, and Utah, down to Colorado, and New Mexico, down to Northern Mexico. And a cold front from the Gulf of Mexico, down to Southern Florida. Warm and a cold front off the Florida coastline here. Front of from North Central Texas, and Oklahoma, down to Missouri. Front of from Western Carolina, down to Virginia, and down to Pennsylvania here. 
24 degrees outside of Atlanta here in Boston. It's 37 out in Washington, D.C. 34 out in Atlanta. 74. 71 in Miami. 35 in, in Brownsville, Texas. 26 in Dallas. 6 above in Kansas City. 1 above in Chicago, Great Falls, Montana. It's 2 below in Minneapolis. 3 below in Denver. 37 out in Salt Lake City. 30 out in Albuquerque, New Mexico. 53 in Los Angeles. 31 in San Francisco. And 25 in Seattle. There. And around the country. Around the region. It's 26 in Boston. 25 in Norwich. 28 in Taunton, 27 in Smithfield and TF Green, Rhode Island, 27 out in West Philly, 26 out in New Bedford, 27 out in Falmouth, 29 in Chatham, 27 in Nantucket, 30 in Martha's Vineyard, 28 in Bulk Island, 20 out in Worcester, 24 in Fitchburg, 24 in Surbridge, 23 in Springfield, 27 out in Greenfield, 23 in Brattleboro, 21 out in Keene, 18 out in Bennington, 17 out in North Adams, 17 in Pittsfield, 25 in Nashua, 23 in Manchester, Hampshire, 23 in, in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, and 21 in Concord, New Hampshire. And how cold was it this morning? 8 below in Concord, New Hampshire. Norwood, 2 below. Nashua, New Hampshire, 0. Hartford, 8. Falmouth, 10. Providence, 14. And Boston, 19. All right, let's take a look at our HPC discussion here. City coastal rains and heavy amounts of snow could you at west. Quick moving coastal low could be unsettled river from northern Florida to the Carolina coast. Persistent and onshore flow will keep conditions unsettled across the western United States in the next few days. Widespread preservation and inspector surrounding the frontal boundary structure in Fort Oregon. Due to the mountain west end, down in the corner of the Rockies, however, the heaviest mountain would be closer to the coast where waves of energy could be aloft. Combined with a favored orographics will help produce the significant totals along the Oregon and California coastal ranges as well as the Sierra Nevada with the Exceptional locations along the coast, the majority of the precipitation should fall snow, leading to impressive snowfall totals over the summit of the higher terrain. Energy checked in and out of the southwestern crescent in a cemetery on Friday should help the pass precipitation. To the north of the frontal boundary, installed across the northern gulf, and the mass should be initially be light with this system, but a winter mix will be possible within the northern fringe of the precipitation shield. Also, the energy of leveling the midland and spins up the surface flow up the southeast coast on the Saturday. Some heavy rains will be expected over northern and Florida and the Carolina coast, where light snow will be possibly far inland while the coastal low races away from the eastern seaboard. Light snows will be possible for a weak piece of energy streaking from the Midwest to the north east and northern Midland states, and to Saturday into Sunday, and most of it will be extremely limited with this system and keeping accumulation to a minimum. And now, forecast discussion here for New England there. High pressure will develop mainly drive up cold weather into the Saturday. Low pressure will pass for the east of our region Sunday and the Monday, so just expect a few snow showers. More cold and dry weather falls Tuesday and Wednesday before coastal low pressure system may bring some preservation Wednesday night to Thursday. And 10 a.m. update, near term forecast. Safe for a few low terrain included clouds across the northwest and some ocean effect clouds offshore of the islands that mostly clouds. Partly cloudy the sunny day is. Across the region, this will could be the trend for the remainder of the day, save for a few mint clouds scraping in the northwest Massachusetts and Southern New Hampshire as a sharp wave approaches from the west by afternoon. Despite the cold start this morning, the abundance of the sunshine and better sun angles should allow temperatures to respond nicely, and they are. Therefore, still experience high temperatures to be only to be just below normal for this time of the year. Given all these factors, have adjusted temperature dew point skies with this update to bring them up to the current trends and take into account in the forecast. And what's the saying about cold weather continue? Temperature be out 5 to 8 degrees below normal today, and to be 30s in eastern Massachusetts and Rhode Island and down in Cape Town. And, and coastal Connecticut and the central Connecticut. 20s in western Rhode Island and Afro. Western and central Massachusetts and western Connecticut up in eastern New York. Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. Near yeah. average highs for February 7th, Boston be 36, Providence 39, Worcester 33, and Bradley and Hartford 36. So I'm gonna go. And while we contend the part the same, but cold weather continues today. Check what? Going on in Slovenia this week. Historic destructive ice storm hit Slovenia this week as historic ice storm. 50,000 homes in the small country without power. 50% of the country's forced damage and it is destructive what happens when a lot of ice can do to trees, buildings, and all sorts of things. And it could destroy power lines. Okay, let's take a look at our seven-day forecast. It goes like this. Constant pain. Constant pain. Constant pain.
right away with Christmas. For this afternoon, sunny skies high near 30 degrees. West wind about 10 miles per hour. Tonight, most coast skies with a low around 4 degrees. Wind chill fails as low as 5 below. Southwest wind about 8 miles per hour. Saturday, increase of clouds but high near 29 degrees. Wind chill fails as low as 6 below. West wind about 7 to 10 miles per hour. Saturday night, most coast skies low in 17 degrees. Light and variable wind. Sunday, a chance of snow showers. But only after 11 a.m., most coast skies high near 30 degrees. North wind about 3 to 5 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation to 30%. Sunday night, a chance of snow showers, mainly before 1 a.m. Most of the sky lower than 17 degrees. Chance of participation is 30 percent. Monday, most of the sky down near 38, now 28 degrees. And Monday night, most of the sky lower than 10 degrees. Tuesday, second sky down near 25 degrees. Tuesday night, most of the sky lower than 9 degrees. Wednesday, most of the sky down near 29 degrees. Wednesday night, most of the sky lower than 20 degrees. And Thursday, chance of rain and snow, most of the sky down near 39 degrees. Chance of participation is 40 percent. Peters, what a phrase of the day! A sunny and a chilly day in Tapton Speed Gym. We'll have a good day with a good positive attitude here.